Today we're here at Donna Beattie and Farms in their hydroponic greenhouse and we're here to, uh, with Amanda DeBebeck of Wadsworth Controls to talk about environmental climate control within a greenhouse or high tunnel. Um, there are obviously many sophisticated ways that you can do that. We have a very sophisticated system here um, and I would love for Amanda to, to describe uh, some of the benefits of why you would have a system like this in a high tunnel or greenhouse. Sure. So the main reason you, I think you'd start with an environmental controller is literally to control the environment in the greenhouse without exterior effects or things that you can't really control interior-wise when it gets really sunny mm -hmm. or if it gets very cold or very dry or very wet. So very easily you can put in an environmental controller and say, I want to adjust the heat today, I want to adjust the cooling today, and my crops then look great. Okay, and so, that's the end result. so that would be really about the management of all the um, environmental controls within a tunnel. Correct. So correct. this gives you sort of automated um, control over all those systems. Correct, correct. So, so temperature would be the main thing, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what else would be humidity? Humidity, maybe light levels. Uh -huh. How about the amount of watering? Yeah. Uh, you can adjust, how about the protection even of the greenhouse? Uh -huh. So if the weather outside is very adverse yep. and the temperature changes drastically or the wind or the light changes drastically, you can adjust things inside accordingly. Okay, great. Yeah. And you can have systems that are very simple that could just, you know, be sort of thermostat based. Correct. Or can be very complex and have Correct. a computer system Correct. that would sort of integrate all everything together. That's right, that's great. right. So for a very simple grower, just temperature might be critical. Just staying, staying away from freezing yep. and getting too warm where you're cooking your crops. But then you can get as technical as maybe a greenhouse like this where you're growing you know, very um, sensitive hydroponic crops. Mm -hmm. You might want to add CO2 at some point. You want, may want to adjust your lights or add supplemental lighting. And those can be much more involved, but not everybody has to start there. Right, exactly. Um, another benefit I've always heard about is um, energy costs. It, right. You, I imagine you can reduce your energy costs if you have much right. more sort of um, exact monitoring and adjustment to those, Correct. those expenditures. Yeah, so think of it like home. You would never want your furnace and your air conditioner on at the same time. That doesn't really make any sense. We normally don't open our windows and leave the furnace on. Or same the other way, leaving the AC on and forgetting that the windows are open. So if you think about it in a greenhouse sense, if you have your controller saying, this is only when I need supplemental heat, yeah. and this is only when I need supplemental cooling, and everything in between that temperature is really the happy place for plants. That's You're great. You're only using that energy when you need it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, and then the other benefit I've always heard about is um, labor. Right. If, if you don't Huge have to cost. be here early in the morning to turn something on, you have it all automated, that can definitely improve. That is correct. So this controller happens to have automatic features, but it also uh -huh. has manual features. But manual means you need to be here manually. Right. And labor is the most expensive cost. So an environmental controller will allow you to actually be the grower, mm -hmm. maybe growing outside, growing inside, or delivering your crop to your customers. And the controller is always here to take care of those things in between. So you don't have to manually adjust a temperature dial, open a vent manually, maybe close a curtain manually. Great. Super. Well, I've learned a lot from you today. Thank right. you so much for all the wonderful information. Thanks a lot.